Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm watching. like this since 2 o'clock. Yeah. It started raining here too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. get up to Windy Pass we're going to start the climb, the big climb, oh, yeah. the 4% grade. What are you doing? Oh, are you uh, camera? Mm -hmm. Very good.
Yeah, I'm not even cold. No, it's not.
John.
we go. Come on, oh. Pocket knife on you by chance, do you? No. Can we cut the twisty ties? Quick, please. I'm gonna take this off. That way I can let the camera rest for a while. There's four of them, so you might have to cut like at least four of them. The other side, unless you have a trick. Is it all right that I stand out here? Mm -hmm. We're just about to cross Lovato. Yeah, just hold on tight. Thanks, John. down below that we're going to be going on. We're going to do it. Ooh. Up ahead. The Dozier is down down there.
Follow us back to Ozer. 
because he's going back to ask Nito. Like we are. This is the Los Pinos River, or lake as we call it now. Usually this whole pasture is flooded. flooded. It's underneath the water half the time. But now since we're in the fall, and we even hit down a bunch of rain up here, that's what it's going to be at. We get snow this season that we were hoping for, and this whole area will be under water. Because we've had actual water come up almost to the track. Let me say this it's not fun when you have to go through wet track. These are old arrow ties that used to be put right here. They're, they're heavy. They're too heavy. You can't. Well, they are. They're over a hundred pounds. You know, you want to know how many it takes? You want to know how many it takes to pick up one of those? Four. That's nightmare. Chama. But I'm going all the way now. Oh, good. It's time for a change. I've seen if you're, her. If you're hanging out, and are you taking the bus back to Chama? Yep. Okay. I was going to say, if you're hanging out, you can fly me down. Because um, what time does the bus, what, what time are we due to get in? Five, I think. And the bus leaves, gets back to Chama at six. Oh, yeah, that's right, huh? Yeah. So we don't even have much time to look around at Antonio, do we? Not really. I'd say if you if you hurry, the lighting will be real uh, will be real nice to get some shots of 168. And the rotary, because that's out. So they had to clean out the book box to make sure that the uh, Yeah, for um, the rotary, yeah. Yeah, to make sure that it was all ready for the inspector. So I guess we got that job. You I feel sorry for you. I thought it would take two hours. I thought it would take two or three hours at the most. Really? It's only two days. Two days, yeah. Eh, it's all right. Yeah, we missed it earlier through the um, before we got to Osher. Two planes flew right through the canyon. Oh, cool. Yeah, we had two Air Force. Did you see what kind of planes they were? They had four propellers on them. Oh, probably C-130s. C-130s, yeah, I yeah. think that's what it was. They test in here all the time. How are they able to fly through here with these? In a way. Um, they can't. Not really. No. I mean, they're just flying through the narrow canyons. Built They'll turn them on their side and fly full that door. Now that is amazing to see. And how they navigate it to the other side oh, yeah. without crashing. Well, that's the whole. This is a whole training ground for them. Here yeah. For uh, Afghanistan. I and Baghdad. Yeah. The first time riding all the way through, huh? Welcome. Thanks. This is my home side here. Yeah. See, I'm at, my home side is trauma. Oh, cool. I'm in Albuquerque, so three hours away. Yeah. At least one good thing is, yesterday I was out pulling weeds. Mm -hmm. The cold triple track was so bad. Oh my goodness. It's still worse. 
there's double the weeds that I pulled. Cover the fence? Yep. Oh, cool. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Fine. After this bend here is going to be Phantom Canyon. Oh, 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 Phantom Curve or yeah. something like that? Yeah. Where all that... The where all the derailments happened. Oh no, that's a, that's a, oh yeah, derailment up there to Phantom. Yeah, but, uh, the real thing was that Toltec, or the, what's that called? Calico cut, I get over there. Calico cut, yeah. That has been giving us pain for, uh, what, 130, 139 years now? Because of that cut? Sliding down on the Oh yeah. I mean, you can see it. This one too here, not as much. No. Whatever happened to those cars after the accident? I guess they were scrapped. Oh, they're still coming. Huh? The uh, sheep cars? Were they sheep cars or passenger cars? Uh, which accident were you talking about? Because there were two that happened. The, the one that happened at Phantom Curve was the one train that was at night coming through. Uh, the um, the head-on? 169 and 411? Yeah. Um, 169 is actually an Alamosa. I know it's an Alamosa. Uh, so they pulled that one out, but I'm pretty sure they took the torch to 411. Yeah, because um, 411 is no more. They yeah. said it's not even anymore. I'm pretty sure they just busted it up and keep running. Cause it, wasn't that an express train or something? Express on a freight head on. I wonder what ever happened to the express cars. If they're uh, still down where they are. If uh, There's still freight car bodies down there. It wasn't here, it was actually probably a little further that way. Yeah. Uh, it, was just, it, was, it was between Rock Tunnel and uh, California. I wonder if you guys are ever going to bring those freight cars up from down there. Uh, probably not. You think they're still in good condition, even? No. I mean, we've got. That we've got better conditioned freight cars in the restoration here. Yeah. In the yards. They're going to make those out of a canyon. True. Yeah. Would it be worth displaying them at least? Maybe. See, I think that would be. A, I think that would be more of a like a, one of the joint um, projects with the friends. Yeah. The but how would we get down stuff. there exactly to go get them? Now there's the real thing. <laughs> you can't go from Osier out there. Or could you? I think you could run a, I think you could run a, um, a flat with a train, close it onto it. You know that, uh, you know that, uh, work, that work train that they have, uh, that old diesel work train from the, uh, the institute of shop up in the restoration shed, if you ever get a chance to take a look at it. Yeah, but, uh, I'll mention that would probably be, turn it up on this side, pull it over to Antonito, put them up there. Yeah. But I don't think it'll happen for another 20 years if, if they still at all. last this long. Oh, yeah. So they're probably in worse condition than we thought. Oh, here's the Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve. Phantom Curve. Big, uh, Big oh, dangerous yeah. zone. Oh, well, Phantom Curve's actually been pretty good to us. You got lucky. Yeah. All this rock likes to stay where it is. Yeah. I'm going to take a quick picture and then I'll get out of your way. That's so fine. Beautiful country, you know? It's God's country. Yeah. yeah. That little flat spot right there? Yeah. That's one of the little, uh, that little uh, summer cabin. Wait, where? That little flat spot, I'd love to put a little summer cabin right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Good luck with that. Now, where do you live? Do you live in Antonito? Or? Yeah, in Antonito. Yeah. And you do this all summer long? All summer long, then I go back to Dallas. Are you going to school out there, or to your friend? No, nah, it's just that where, it's where I live right now. Oh, okay.
It all depends. My wife's still in school. She's on her last semester of her neuroscience degree. So we're looking at grad school for her right now. Not bad. So it depends on where. Yeah, it does. It also depends on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Who will pay her? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Almost to 80 pounds of pressure. What's up? We're almost to 80 pounds of pressure on the brakes. Pull them back up. Huh? Pull them back up. Yep. And it was at 90 when we got up here. Oh, sir. When did the running brake test? Huh? You did the running brake test, check it all. Yep. This isn't the side you have to worry too much about anyway. We don't have anything steeper than a one and a half. Yep. Do you hear RGS 20 is back at um Colorado Road Museum? Oh really? He's back. Oh nice. They're finishing up the rest of the work there. And they did a steam up test on her. Ooh. She can run under her own power. She's right. certified at 120 psi. That's what she's certified at. That's not bad. No, and but she's coming here. We actually have plans. Yeah. Right, well, she's not. It's not completely finished yet. They don't have the cab on her yet. They still have other things to put on her, but yeah. How long she been? How long she been underway? I I. Say many months. Strasburg had her for a while. Strasburg, you said? Strasburg did the full main boiler work. Ah, uh, Strasburg was doing all that. Yeah. I could have sent her here. I guess we would have need more staff. But we're hoping to one of these days be off like that for the, especially for the narrow gauge stuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. They must be coming up to something for them to be whistling. Huh? Stand right here and we just stop going into the tunnel. Oh, that's right, my tunnel. Yep. Fast 311. Huh? Fast 311. Yep, my opposed 311. I'm going after RGF 41 and not Terry Farm. They never run that engine anymore. You want to buy it? Uh, I'm actually uh, trying to acquire it. DNF. Shop crew own it. Really? Yeah, they're old timers that used to that still work at Drango own RGS 41. So they're just loading it basically, I mean basically it's a static model over there. It runs. Oh, it does run. Yeah. But I want to get it out of there and turn it back to coal. Even an oil burner. Wow. It shouldn't be too hard to turn it back to oil. Only oil. Coal. The only locomotives that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as Huh? Only engines that should be oil burners are the ones that were built as I don't like what they're doing with their uh, K-37 over there at the DNS. Well, they have to, because of that lawsuit. And the fire. Oh yeah, here comes Glenn Huddle. Yeah. They said DNS started it. Yeah, they did. Yep. For sure. Oh yeah, mud tunnel. This yeah. is the shortest one. Yeah. Out of rock tunnel. I read all the FRA reports on the, on the DNS fire. And? You know, I gotta actually say I agree with the FRA on the I do too. Well, um, it came down to their fire patrol. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't adequately prepared, they weren't adequately trained. Exactly. We take our fire patrol. Seriously, yeah. And, you know, for years and years people are like, why are we doing this all this? Why are we doing it all this? Uh, yep, all this fire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, now we'll yep. That's why they're turning 497 down oil burner. 18th, still there. They're turning to a freaking K35. At least 2,000 pounds of traction for it. Yeah. True.
this is rock tunnel that we're in right now. It's gonna be dark for a while. We don't have any lighting in here. So this is all the light you get from up there and then we're in here and then next one is mud tunnel. Huh? This one and the next one up ahead. Yep. There you go. Full season view of Toltec Gorge. Because the mountain right here was blasted with dynamite. This is all that made. U.S. Army did this for us, the military, when we were building this line. For their practice runs, would come out here and make holes for us. Now, mud tunnel is a whole different story. Yep, the one that's made all out of mud, with um, railroad ties holding it up. Yep, because it's a support beam along the whole tunnel. You'll see it when we go through. Because the entrance even has the railroad ties on it. I think we're coming up. We should be coming up to it pretty soon. The tunnels are real close to each other. you don't want to do is lose your phone out here because you yeah. cannot recover it. There's no road down through Toltec Gorge at all. card number two anyways. I filled up a whole SD card on the first card. Oh, yeah. Worth an hour worth of footage, yeah. All the way from Chama. I was recording all the way up to Lobato. And then I would do it between the pass and stuff. Does it record sound too? Yep. Well, my voice is on your... Who cares? It's fine. I don't care. Hey, I was talking the whole way up. Plus, it's in 4K, so who cares? I don't. Plus, this goes on to YouTube, so I'm not real worried about it. After it's done, I process it. So what I do is I upload it raw. I don't even edit it. I leave it as is. Yep. Because a lot of people said it's better unedited than edited. Because I've learned it's better. Be careful of these trees. I believe it's coming up. Rock tunnel. What's that gorge? My tunnel. Yeah, it should be there. Because that one is not as dark as this one was. Probably see it when on your end when we make the curve. Yep. So it's 
it's on the along the straightaway or it's snowy. I think we have the curve and then my tunnel. It was right before um it's another like with Tanglefoot curve. But we're going to go through whiplash curve, so it should be coming up after that. Or unless My tunnel. My tunnel? Yeah. I know we just went through rock tunnel. It's going to take about nine minutes, eight minutes. That's what um, I was wondering. About two miles. Yeah. Do you think 168 is out running today? Uh, no, but she was yesterday. I know she was out yesterday. Did you get pictures of her? I wasn't here. Oh, wait. How far did she go? Uh, 287 and a half. Yeah, I see, was I was the, in. I was on the curb. Oh, see, I was in Chama. I missed it. They're going to be running tomorrow, or today, but they might tomorrow. Yeah. So, I don't think I'll be on the group for that one. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. if you can, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm off to Durango. Uh, that's Sadly. You buy your tickets already? I'm just going up to Railfan for the night. Yeah, that was fun going through Rock Tunnel. Uh, yeah. I never been, went through it.
before. Oh, you just did you, uh... up there.
brilliant Antonino and the line. Four ninety four uh, or four ninety five.
Pinedo, down on the line. Four ninety four uh, or four ninety five. Thank you. 